Dan Larson here at the photo booth with a bunch of stuff sent into the P.O. Box. Uh, up first, we've got alternation figures from Pandemony Toys. Uh, Pandemony was gracious enough to send us some samples. This is actually all of Phase 1 or Wave 1, whatever you want to call it, uh, from them. Actually, I got the box here uh, so you can see the logo. Alternation there and Pandemony Toys there on the bottom. Um, these figures, uh, this team, part of... Uh, uh, Generation Chimera. Uh, it's like a top secret program uh, to develop human animal hybrids, uh, sort of an X Men vibe there, where you have, uh, you know, trying to trying to protect the humans that also sort of fear and hate them, that type of thing. Um, the uh, figures all here stand roughly, uh, you know, they're around that sort of six inch scale. This is just a, I just grabbed a random Marvel Legends figure off my shelf here. Uh, so you can see that some of these actually are a bit larger than six inch. Uh, some of them are a little bit smaller than the six inch scale. Um, they are some pretty interesting character designs for sure. Uh, they say ages six and up. Uh, they are pretty poseable. You've got, you know, most uh, most expected points of articulation here. Uh, there might be a few things you might be missing out on. Some, you know, not a lot of bicep swivels or thigh swivels, thigh, thigh cuts, that type of stuff. Uh, but there are some features here that, you know, not a lot of other figures are going to have. There are still some sort of like fun uh, action type things here you know the chameleon's got his tongue uh, and you can also see that his eyes are sort of rolling around in his head at the same time uh this one probably my favorite you've got you know quite a few <laughs> translucent parts here uh into the yellow he's got this uh you know sort of liz i mean lizardy is the best thing i can describe it as but it's got this you know sort of texture almost feels like a fishing lure type of you know kind of stretchy kind of plasticky kind of rubber material here um and then uh, this guy similarly uh same kind of tail material but uh, he's got a different gimmick, if I can remember how to... Oh, there it is. He's, uh, his, uh, his powers are based on uh, electric eels. <laughs> so if uh, you press the little button on his belt, uh, you get that sort of flashing effect there. Uh, and then, so yeah, so each one has their sort of gimmick. Stand this guy back up. Uh, different powers, different uh, um, aspects to their personality and how they sort of benefit the team. Um, each one comes with a little mini comic that explains their whole story. You got the whole line here on the back, as well as uh, a couple of figures, Alpha and Bomber, that uh, aren't out yet. Those are going to be in Wave Two. Uh, they both look considerably larger. I mean, they look tiny on this uh, piece of paper here, but I'm guessing that those are, those are actually larger figures. Uh, so across the field here, we've got uh, Sabotage, El Rey. Uh, this was Sham who fell over. Uh, Dart. <sighs> Willeroy, and uh, this is Albert Seven. Um, a lot of accessories included on these things. Uh, big guns. Uh, Sham here, who's kind of like a secret agent, uh, which, you know, he's got the chameleon powers. He's got his uh, gun with silencer. Uh, he's got this umbrella that, uh, when you press on it, uh, it uh, has a little knife that pops out. He's also got this book that's concealing some uh, TNT, some dynamite. Uh, if nothing else, uh, you might want to pick up one of these. Uh, I just forgot his name again. Albert. I wanted to call him Charlie for some reason. Uh, Albert Seven, uh, who uh, not only does he have this plunger, this plunger, this mallet that has a uh, boxing glove that pops out of it. Hang on. It's got like a switch on it here. There we go. Uh, it's got like a boxing glove. That, he's like the comic relief of the team. He's got the boxing glove that pops out of the mallet. He's got this machine gun with, uh, it's got like a banana peel on the end of it. Uh, but more importantly, this, to my knowledge, he's the only action figure uh, ever that has come with a uh, fully functional whoopee cushion. And here, I'll prove it to you. Uh, you can actually blow it up. And then, you know, <laughs> I don't think it's going to replace the... I don't think it's going to replace our stock fart noises, but the important part is that it does work. Uh, and so, you know, it, you don't you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to have the first uh, six inch scale uh, fully functional whoopee cushion. there. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy thing. Uh, if you're if you're if you're looking to get your hands on these figures, um, uh, you will want to head to alternation uh, www.alternation.toys. Uh, there's a store link there to purchase. But Big Bad Toy Store also has them. Amazon.com has them. Uh, they're in the 2025 20, range here. Smaller ones are like 21 bucks. Larger ones are 25. Uh, they've also got a link for the whole set there. But uh, thank you again to Pandemony Toys, Pandemony Toys, uh, for sending these out to us uh, for us to take a look at these uh, and see what uh, see. Oh, look at this guy. He's got watch ready. 
Yeah, so he has, uh, he has spines that launch out of his back. And I didn't realize how much uh, punch they actually packed the first time I shot him out, and they uh, almost hit me in the eye. Uh, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, uh, I have lightning-quick reflexes I was able to dodge, so no harm done. Uh, but thanks again to Panamony Toys for sending those out. Up next is Jack from Linwood, Washington. Uh, Jack, you, you, may, you may remember Jack from a couple of uh, uh, videos ago. Uh, he, I'm just going to read you this letter he included. He said, uh, Happy New Year. Here's the uh, uh, Boba shirt. In the correct size, uh, you might remember a couple episodes, uh, Jack did send in uh, another Boba shirt, and uh, I uh, took that opportunity to say, hey, you know, if you're sending shirts in, uh, nothing specific to Jack, but if you're sending shirts in, extra large, probably a little too big for me, uh, large is probably a better size, and uh, I felt like a jerk <laughs> for even saying that, but it was like, you know, I, I appreciate everything everybody sends in. If you're going to send me shirts, I want to be able to wear them and show them off and stuff. And extra large is just a little too big for me. Uh, and so of course, Jack took that, uh, Jack took that personally. And he, uh, he sent in a replacement. He said, Happy New Year. Here's the Boba shirt in the correct size for you. So glad you liked it. Uh, and then he said he also found this figure uh, marked down at his store and thought it uh, might make an, a nice addition to, the, uh, to my translucent action figure collection, which is cool because I didn't pick this one up yet, uh, and it, it definitely will. Um, I don't even have to build a figure on this one. And actually, I, you know, I don't think the build a figure is actually translucent. Um, but that's cool. So <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much to Jack. Uh, I have actually worn this shirt already. It does fit great. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I am not starting a Boba shirt set. So we're good there. Thanks, Jack. Up next is Jay. And I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I think it's pronounced Fenning uh, is the name. Uh, Jay, you might not know Jay personally, uh, but you might know his car. Uh, Jay is... Uh, NA2NSX uh, on Instagram, uh, and this is a picture of his car. It's uh, it's been it's been embellished uh, for this sticker, of course. It's uh, he's got the Robotech. Uh, it's the Robotech Acura NSX, and of course, it's got the uh, boosters and stuff photoshopped on the top here. But uh, Jay included that uh, sticker in the box here, which is really cool. I've seen this pictures of this car online, and people have been uh, tagging me. Uh, in uh, in photos of that uh, for a couple of years now, but uh, Jay sent that, in, and he also sent in more importantly, uh, he sent in this uh, Boba Fett super deformed uh, action figure. Action figure, it's not really actiony. Um, I'll be honest, and I told Jay this. He was like, "Hey, can I send you this thing?" And I'm like, "You know what? I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. In fact, I might have like two or three. And he was like, "I don't care. I'm sending it anyway." I was like, "Okay, cool." But uh, the difference here was that it actually is in the package, and I didn't have one in the package, and. I honestly did not realize that it's as old as it is. Uh, when I opened this up and saw that it was uh, marked Power of the Jedi, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, it's from 2001. Uh, I had no idea it was that old. Uh, so that was uh, it's crazy to me to, to think that it came from that era of Star Wars stuff. I would have guessed, you know, 2008, 2010, somewhere around there at the, at the latest. Uh, but to go back there. And then I also thought it was crazy that I did not <laughs> know... Uh, it was billed as Super Deformed Boba Fett from Japan. <laughs> so that's just, uh, I thought it was funny. So uh, so thanks to Jay for sending this out. That really is cool. I actually will hang on to this one uh, in the package like this uh, because the presentation actually brought something uh, new to it that I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Next up, we have uh, Walter Harris from over at Hammer of the Gods. Oh, this is not a very good framing here for this. Let me see if I can. That's a little better. There we go. Uh, Walter, uh, Walter Harris over at, uh, Hammer of the Gods, they are H-O-T-G Toys, that's, uh, four letters, acronym short for Hammer of the Gods, H-O-T-G Toys on Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna read his little letter that he, uh, wrote here. It says, Dan, uh, knowing you frequently discuss the media that surrounds toy properties, we wanted to share this new graphic novel, uh, we self-published to support our independent toy line, Hammer of the Gods. The HOTG universe is inspired by 1980s barbaric fantasy, but matured to acknowledge the audience has grown up. Our lead protagonist, Punch-Out, deals savage justice with his mythic power gauntlet, but also has to deal with some societal issues we've weaved in subtly. Hope you enjoy, Walter at Haji. Uh, HOTG Toys. Uh, I almost said hot G and he was like, don't call it hot G. And then I blew it and called it hot G. I'm so sorry, man. It's H O T G he even wrote a note here and I blew it. Uh, but uh, website is hammer the gods, toys.com. Facebook is H O T G toys. Instagram is H O T G toys. It is H O T G toys, not hot G. You guy running the camera right now. Uh, so we've got the, uh, uh, graphic novel. I'm going to call it a graphic novel here. It's, uh, it's a collection of uh, a previously co uh, published uh, mini co a comic in a larger format here and then a bunch of um, 
uh, pinups, illustrations, you know, those types of things. But uh, it's a, it really is a kind of, it's in that same world as not just Masters of the Universe and He-Man, the vintage line, but also all of the Conan and uh, Warlord and all of those classic lines, even throw in all the knockoff stuff because they've all got interesting character designs and mythology and stuff. Uh, and this is just all in support of that and in celebration of that. Uh, but it's got its own mythology and really, really done up in that style to kind of mimic not just the look, but you've even got a commercial in here for Puncho's <laughs> Crunchy Puffs with Marshmallow Fists uh, and then all these sort of uh, uh, fan artworks, origins, all this type of stuff. So uh, very cool. Thank you very much to Walter and Alan uh, and Sam who all worked on this book. Check it out. Give them a follow over on uh, Instagram at the very least. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to put something like this together to actually get a physical thing into your hand. I don't know what it takes to get action. I don't know anything about the action figure industry and making toys. So <laughs> that's all, uh, a mystery to me. I see people doing it. I see independent toy creators doing it. Uh, so I know there's a lot of hard work and time and money and passion that goes into it. Uh, having a book like this to be able to actually show off, uh, your, your creations, your concepts, your ideas is really a special, special thing. So thank you to all three of you guys, Walter, Allen, and Sam for sending this in to me and hope you guys, uh, will go over and check it out. All right. We've got, uh, another Dan, this time it's Danny from, uh, Saskatchewan, Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, Danny says, uh, been cleaning out my collection a little and wanted to send a few things your way. Uh, as a thanks for all the great work you do, Toy Galaxy really got me back into collecting. Hopefully you can use some of the Build-A-Figure parts or find a collector who can inside the box here. Uh, first off, we have the previously mentioned Build-A-Figure parts here. We got some Sandman accessories, uh, some uh, Onslaught, some red Onslaught pieces, uh, some weapons, some Machine Man parts, a Juggernaut arm, all kinds of fun things here. Um, I think I need this Juggernaut arm. I'm not 100% positive. Um, the rest will go into my trades bag. <clears throat> In here we have a Marvel Universe uh, Commander Rogers. Pretty sure I still have this figure. Uh, I don't keep my 4-inch uh, Marvel figures out uh, very much. I don't really have space to display them currently. I know they're tiny and don't take up a lot of room. Um, but, uh, I sort of have them in, packed away safely in my, in my miscellaneous superheroes bin. Uh, I was pretty psyched when this figure came out. I didn't love this costume immediately, uh, but once it came around, uh, that this figure was released, I was pretty excited about it. I liked that the, uh, I like when he comes with the, uh, the energy shield, which again, I didn't like at first, but I came around on that. Um, and then of course, once this became the base for the shield strike suit in, uh, Civil War, Civil War, uh, Winter Soldier, uh, I totally dug it. Uh, we've got a Battle Beast here. This is the Platypus, I believe. I don't remember what his name is. Uh, I've never known any of the names of the Battle Beasts. Because I didn't... <laughs> Whatever mythology there was that existed for it, I never really got into the mythology itself. The characters had their own personalities uh, and ranks and team associations and that stuff based on when I purchased them, who they were packed in the two packs with, or if they came in a pack of... There was like a 10-pack, I think, 8-pack, something like that. Uh, that's how the, the sort of uh, teams and associations were built for me. Uh, this guy, I don't remember this guy's name. This was originally, when, when they were originally released, I wasn't really buying Transformers any of this more at this point. Um, so I don't remember his name. But this one, I think, is one of the shocking ones. Sparking ones. Maybe not. Maybe just rolls. But... Yeah, at this point, I wasn't really in on G1 Transformers. Uh, it's cool. It's a dinosaur dragon guy, but uh, I don't know. And then we've got a uh, Ghostbusters. Who is this, Ray? Or uh, Bankman. Uh, this is the non-posable kind uh, from the uh, Mini Mates. And then, I'll uh, look at it. Oh, up here. Hang on, before we get to that. We've got the Jamie Foxx Electro, which is cool because I actually didn't have this figure. Um, I don't like when they have... I don't like when figures come with effects permanently affixed to their uh, limbs. Uh, that more recent, like the retro version of uh, Cyclops in the blue and white um, X-Factor costume. You know, I was going to grab that one, but like both of his visor effects, like he's got the one that's like constantly burning sort of like uh electro's eyes here and then he's got the other one that's the blast and i'm like i just want one that's like not active and didn't really seem like there was an option for that so i couldn't really didn't really bother picking that one up 
Um, and like this one, it's like, I like these hands. They're translucent. It's translucent. They've got uh, energy effects. Uh, but I'd really like it if he also had regular hands. We've got a vintage Kenner Imperial Guard here missing his outer robe. He's just got his inner robe. Uh, that's cool. And then inside here, uh, these are weird. And I've actually never seen... I've actually never seen these in person. I've heard of them. But uh, this is the first opportunity I've actually had to look at them uh, myself. This is Ox. See if he stands. This is Ox and... Crutch Clutcher uh, from a line called Sport Freaks uh, from 1986. Um, actually, coincidentally, uh, we were just talking about uh, Hammer of the Gods, H-O-T-G uh, toys. This is from H-G toys uh, during that during that same sort of era that uh, Garbage Pail Kids and Mad Balls and all the kind of sort of gross, uh, you know, toilet humor sort of things for, you know, kids was... Uh, was all blowing up. That's that's what this whole line was. It was weird sports characters. Um, you know, Ox here comes with his cowbell. He's got... Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I'm guessing they both probably came with footballs. He's supposed to have, like, an actual crutch and some other things, but... Man, what a weird, uh, what a weird batch of toys. What a weird era. Uh, totally non-posable. They kind of remind me of those... Uh, the larger WWF uh, figures, the Titans... Uh, from back in the 80s as well. So uh, pretty cool random batch of stuff there. Uh, thanks to Danny again for sending that stuff in all the way from Canada. And then last, but absolutely, certainly not least, uh, Max out of... Uh, Max sent a special holiday gift from Shanghai, and I did... I did already open this, uh, but I did want to show you the incredibly awesome... Uh, wrapping paper here, complete with uh, seasonal uh, paper dolls that can be <laughs> cut out from the wrapping paper. So uh, even if you don't decide not to conventionally recycle it, you can uh, recycle it for some fun times uh, before actually digging into the, the gift itself. Uh, so there was a letter here from Max that uh, I'm also going to read. It said, uh, hello, Toy Galaxy crew. Living in uh, both Shanghai and a fairly small apartment, my toy collecting options are sadly limited. That's why I wanted to send you this very uh, this very licensed toy I found on Taobao. Tao, Taobao? I don't know how that's pronounced. Chinese eBay as a thank you for the many hours of vicarious toy nerdery I've enjoyed on your fantastic channel. Please don't stare directly into his eyes. I think it may steal your soul that way. Uh, and I'm going to have to back up uh, quite a bit for this one. This is, uh, this is, uh, yeah, Deformation Tycoon, collect them all, it says up here, uh, Revenge Hero Alliance, Revenge Hero Alliance, collect them all. Uh, this is a transforming, uh, pr probably not licensed, oh, look at this, the box even has a handle on it, it's so huge. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's the tumbler that transforms into, this is battle mode, uh, the tumbler, and then it transforms into uh, a robo-batman with a, a giant kibble backpack that is basically just the Batmobile uh, shell formed <laughs> around him. Uh, I haven't opened this up yet because, I mean, I, you know, I need to find out what this thing is worth in the box and if, uh, if I'm going to be able to retire with this thing. I don't know what's going on here on the side art. It looks like it's a screen cap from a game or something, uh, one of the Arkham games, uh, or whatever. Um, I'm not even sure who these characters are here. Obviously, that's Batman. Is this, this is Deathstroke? Oh, that's Deathstroke. Yeah, he's got the eye patch. So, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is a crazy... What a crazy weird thing, and, you know, Jin Jang it's from. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a thing. That's a thing that, uh, can I, let me see if I can get his eyes up close here for you. There we go. Those, those are the eyes that, uh, those will keep you up at night. Or something's keeping him up at night, I don't know. He's, he's terrified of, uh, he, he came across the wrong folks at the wrong time. Uh, somebody found him when he was sleeping in the Batmobile or something, I don't know. That thing's a mess, but it's a, it's a crazy, I don't even know, man. <laughs> Just a crazy, crazy mess. It does have a nice metallic sheen to it, that's classy, right? I don't know, I don't know what class is. Uh, but hey, thanks, Max. Thanks for thinking of us, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks again to Pandemony Toys, Jack, Jay, Walter at Hammer of the Gods, Danny, Max. Uh, thank you for watching this and all of our videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am at Toy Galaxy. Uh, if you're in the position to help the channel grow, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash Toy Galaxy. Thanks again. Later.